talking about circumference. Now, the circumference is the distance around a circle. And circumference brings in the irrational number pi. In fact, let's give a definition of pi. Pi equals the circumference divided by the diameter. And we can use this definition, this irrational number, this definition of this irrational number pi, a number that has does not have a repeating decimal and, not a, and it does not have a terminating decimal. The decimals just keep going on and on and on, non-repeating, non-terminating. And if we take this equation and if we were to multiply both sides of this equation by d, we can come up with a formula for circumference. So that circumference equals pi d. Now we also know that the diameter is twice as long as the radius, or the radius is half the length of the diameter. And so if we know the diameter rather than the, I mean, excuse me, if we know the radius rather than the diameter of a circle, we can come up with a second formula, which is the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the length of the radius, which allows us to find circumference. So here in this first problem, we're given that the radius is two and a half centimeters. So let's see, we just set our formula up that the circumference is equal to two pi times the radius, which is two and a half centimeters. Oh, let's see, let me grab a calculator. All right, two pi. And the radius is 2.5. 2 times pi times the radius of 2.5. And so the circumference rounded to the nearest hundredth is 15.71 centimeters. And don't forget your units of measurement. If you're given a unit of measurement, use it and express it in your, in your answer. And on the second example, we've got diameter. And we're told that the diameter of this particular circle is 16 feet. What is the circumference? Well, the circumference is equal to pi times the diameter, which is 16 feet, so that our circumference rounded to the nearest hundredth is pi times 16, or 50.2 seven feet. So in order to find the circumference, we have a formula using that irrational number pi, such that the circumference can equal pi times the diameter, or if we just happen to know the measurement of the radius, we can say that the circumference is equal to two times pi times r, or just 2 pi r. Finding the circumference of a circle. We're going round and round and round, round and round and round.